Hello guys, my name is 7-Eleven, and I have a, an interesting customized battle for you today. Um, so, David, aka Fat Leonardo, he wanted to have a test battle in his preparation for Adam in the Pokemon Battle Association. So, I made a team using Adam's roster and I'm going to battle um, David's team that he made for Adam. So um, we had our battle. Um, these sort of battles actually happen relatively frequently, maybe every other week or so. And so um, I usually don't don't really think much about these battles, but I really. I really thought this was a really interesting battle, the way that things turned out. And so, let's just get on with this battle right now. Um, so I decided to lead with Jirachi. This was a stealth rocking Jirachi with a heal healing wish custap berry. So he switches right away, and in comes Fat Leonardo, and I decide to set my stealth rock. and. So that was a pretty good prediction on on his part. So he goes to uh, Rapid Spin, presumably. And he goes straight for the Aura Sphere as I went for Thunderbolt. Full knowing that he could switch in Landorus. So I Thunderbolt again, and there's a Rapid Spin. And so what I do right here is on the switch... I wanted to just kill this this fat Leonardo right then and there, but um, it was a smart it was a smarter play to go for Stealth Rock. I switched at this point. I really should have predicted the uh, lander switching and gone for the Hidden Power Ice, but it didn't happen. Suicune is in now, and here's Blackbeard. And Earth Power is a two-hit KO, which is really really unfortunate for me. So here's an Ice Beam now, and so I see that I really cannot win here. I just cannot win. So I do switch to Preserve Suicune, because Suicune is pretty useful in this matchup. Critical hit on the Gorbis was really unfortunate, and so that is the first knockout of the battle. Next up, we I decide to send in Ferrothorn, and I forget about Substitute. Substitute is an extremely good good move in this uh, kind of weak format. And so Leech Seed doesn't do anything. I go for Protect here to see what he's going to do, if he has Hidden Power Fire or whatnot. He's, he's going to keep going for the Earth Power. And really, Blackbeard is doing a really, uh, a really good job against my team. Uh, I didn't really prepare all that much for Blackbeard. I just prepared a lot for Mega Blastoise and a few other threats. So down goes the Ferrothorn, and now my best chance here. Blackbeard can probably sweep, so I sent in the Hitmonlee, and instead of the normal Fake Out, I go for Knock Off. Knock Off means no more Life Orb for Marigold. So I get to I get a, a pretty decent switch into Arcanine here. I was predicting the Flash Fire, and he goes for Morning Sun, which is okay, I suppose. So I was predicting a switch too, and so now Marigold has a Flash Fire boost. Arcanine and Marigold, the Rapid Dash, we both have Flash Fire. So there's a good, there's some pretty good damage on that Wild Charge, as. Marigold Gold goes for Poison Jab. I figured this was a good I idea to go for the Morning Sun here, as Marigold also goes for the Morning Sun. It's interesting that I that this Arcanine is faster. So another Wild Charge takes Marigold, Marigold down pretty low. Pretty low, low, that did 55%. Poison Jab with a crit puts Arcanine in a pretty low range. And so, what I decided to do here, I really wanted to hard predict that Landorus to come in. So I went for the overheat again. And 
that was pretty bad. So the poison jab is going to be able to take out the Arcanine. And now it is time for Suicune to come back in. Now Suicune uh, does have the opportunity to put a good bit of, of work into uh, this team. So here's Yuru. I go for rest. Uh, probably on a chance that Marigold could go for um, Morning Sun. I don't know why David Thunder waved. That was a really interesting play. Uh, but as you can see, I only have three Pokemon left, and so Suicune really, really needs to put in some work here. Yuru has the Sticky Web up now. And so, let's see what happens. I Sleep Talk into Ice Beam. And so that does a good bit amount of damage. That critical hit Volt Switch was really, really annoying. Exceedingly annoying. So, he goes out, and he decides at this point, Mega Blastoise is a pretty good sack at this point. Um, his, his, uh, his rapid spinning days are done. His rapid spinning days... I'm sorry. His rapid spinning days are not done just yet. He... Um, he predicted the rest. That was very good. Fat Leonardo is still alive, 1 HP, and he decides to click Aura Sphere on my Calm Minded Suicune. So, I go for the Sleep Talk. I assume I go for it. Yeah, there's the Sleep Talk. I get rest. Um, sleep Talk is actually a really good idea on some rest sets, especially some bulky Pokemon. However, it's really annoying whenever you get rest really annoying whenever you get rest. So I'm asleep and I go for an ice beam and I'm glad that's to hit KO now. So what does Marigold do? Marigold goes for poison jab. Can't get poison because I was asleep at the time and ice beam uh, beats Marigold. So I, I finally finally get to um, have one kill. It's about darn time. So, now in comes Blackbeard, and thanks to the Calm Mind, I am able to take an yet another Earth Power, and Ice Beam takes out Blackbeard. So I think that might put me in, in range of a Thunderbolt, which is why Suicune, uh, which is why he sacked the Landorus. Yeah, there's Yuru, and uh, there's the Volt Switch. I do live. I think that if he... Um, I think if he Thunderbolted, then Suicune probably could have lived. So in comes Marcus Kane. I kind of predicted the Volt Switch, and I went for rest. And so now Marcus, Marcus Kane is going to Thunderbolt. I see Life Orb damage. I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping that Suicune can can pull this off here but as it turns out Marcus Kane is going to drop a Draco I'm sorry drop a Thunderbolt and that crit 150% mattered 150% mattered so now Jirachi is in and a flamethrower does not take me out as I predicted because I was especially Offensive, especially defensive. Stealth Rock is going to be really useful. And there's a Custap Berry. Pop. I go for the Healing Wish. And now, here is the big, big play of the game, guys. The big play here, I mean, sure, Hitmonlee is still at a full health. But, um, Hitmonlee is holding the White Herb. And whenever I come in, Sticky Web is going to be nullified by the White Herb, and then I have the Unburden Boost. So now, Hitmonlee is faster than everything. Uh, as you can see, Sticky Web, White Herb, and with the Unburden Boost, I'm faster than everything. High Jump Kick destroys Marcus Kane, and. I set the Stealth Rock mostly for the Greninja in case there is a Focus Sash. Doesn't matter. Here comes a knockoff. 
Yuru is gone. And uh, now there's Greninja here. Um, Greninja, if I don't know if it had a Focus Sash or not. I really don't know. But there's a high jump kick. Goodbye, Greninja. And last but not least is Mega Blastoise, which only has 1% health. And so, down goes Fat Leonardo. So Hitmonlee got a really nice sweep there. Hit Hitmonlee beat the um, beat the Gudra, beat the Galvantula, beat the Mega Blastoise. Um, so that was a really crazy game right there, guys. Um, it was really really dangerous that Landorus could have potentially swept my entire team with Earth Power, essentially. Earth Power uh, was a, a two-hit KO on Suicune. Uh, I'm sure Earth Power would probably beat Jirachi and Arcanine and Hitmonlee. But uh, thankfully the Hitmonlee did scare out the Landorus way back when. And I saved Hitmonlee in the back just in case of the sticky web coming on my side. And however, usually sticky web is really good whenever you get to set it up. But in this case, the sticky web literally backfired on David. So that was a really great way to show off how Hitmonlee is anti sticky web material. And so. Um, uh, what was I going to say? The Clamp Pearl, not Clamp Pearl, the, Gor the Gorobus, uh, was bulky with a coil set, and so, a, a coil baton pass set, so it would be, it would have been really nice if I could have baton passed a coil or two to him on Lee, and that's why I was running high jump kick instead of close combat because coil boosts um, coil boosts accuracy and high jump kick is 10 points higher than close combat I believe and that that's why I was also running blaze kick so I think my move set was high jump kick blaze kick knock off high jump kick blaze kick knock off poison jab maybe I forget but anyway um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then like this video, comment on this video, share it with your friends, and, um, and also guys, be sure to sub David, and link will be in the description, and I will see you guys later. Peace.